Hello everybody. This uh, short presentation that uh, I'm going to make it has the purpose of uh, showing how to start using the BSMOD software to apply the BioSystem model to study any organization. The BSMOD software is a software created uh, among other goals to uh, facilitate the application of the uh, BIRS uh, system uh, model. Uh, BSMOD allows us to build the whole structure of an organization according to uh, the recursion criteria that we wish to use to visualize our organization. Mm, in our example, the, we will take a uh, um, car industry, just uh, for the sake of uh, mm, the presentation. The recursion criteria that we are going to use are uh, three. Uh, one is the car models, the other is the fuel types, and the third is the engine power. So let's see how we create uh, a project. Let's start giving a name to the project. We will call it Cars Company, for example. We confirm, we save it, wherever we wish to save it, in our desktop or whatever, and we uh, have here to uh, save the, the, the name of the project, the first screen where we can start to create the structure. The screen is divided in three parts. The left, we have the criterion the button to add the recursion criteria that we uh, wish to use through the whole structure. The, in the middle, we have the add subsystems uh, button uh, to add the organizations at, the, at each recursion level or subsystems we call it here and on the right side we see an um, empty space where we will be um, seeing how the tree of our organization unfolds at the same time that we create it so let's start uh, selecting the first recursion criteria that we are going to use are the type of models that our company produces so the first recursion criteria is going to be models once we have selected the recursion criteria, models, we can start introducing the various models that we produce. So let's start producing, uh, um, specifying model one. Model two, for example, and model three. So it's a company with three models. Now let's select model one and see what type of uh, fuel uh, we use uh, in, in this model. We can add, in this case, the recursion criteria now is going to be fuel, fuel type. In our example, let's assume that we have only two types, gasoline and diesel. So we are facing now with uh, the third recursion level, let's assume now that we continue going down uh, through the recursion levels to gasoline cars. Gasoline cars, we, we have also a variety of cars uh, uh, that depending on the engine uh, power. So the next recursion criteria is going to be uh, engine power. Let's call it power. And uh, what are the, the type of engines that we have uh, in model one? Uh, in gasoline, let's assume, for example, 60 CV, 100 CV, and 200 CV. Okay, so we have the first model, we have already the three recursion levels that we consider uh, enough for the study of our company. So let's go now, uh, let's go back to, uh, to model two and do the same thing. In model two, again, we select the recursion criteria. The first one is the fuel type. So we also have the two types, gasoline, diesel. And if we go to gasoline, uh, in the third level uh, of recursion, we also have the uh, variety of uh, powers, uh, motor engine powers. So we select, in this case, the power we have to let here, so I'm going to have to write it again, and we add the variety of engines at this level. Let's assume that it's, a, for instance, a car with CV, 50 CVs, just as an example. 
uh, another with a hundred and another with a hundred fifty so now we have already the structure uh, we have created the structure if we click in, in model uh, 2 we see uh, in, uh, in gas in power we expand it we see the three configurations the engine the three engine configuration if we click on the model one we also can see the whole tree where we have all the configurations so we, we can see on the right side the whole structure for organization of course this uh, the structure is synchronized with the system in focus this will be our system in focus in the center of the screen if we click on any of the uh, components we can uh, shift just by clicking we move to the system in focus that we wish uh, to uh, select just by clicking on the tree this is the first part of the of the um, creation of the study now let's go to the bsm chart in the center we we are now system in focus is the uh, recursion level zero with the three models we click on show details and we will see the viable system model the chart of the viable system here we have automatically is created a model one model two model three uh, well we have some additional information uh, to uh, clarify to the the people that is not familiarized with the terms hmm, about what means uh, system uh, uh, two three four five etc no? uh, so we have here in this case three three the three models at this level uh, an interesting feature uh, is that we can also visualize this information in a 3d uh, option uh, the advantage of the 3d option is that uh, we can mm, use the uh, uh, assume to uh, move the image uh, this uh, feature is quite interesting if we have many operational units so we uh, we can uh, visualize them, uh, all of them in the same image uh, well there are some additional things just funny things to play with the with the with the image if we wish to uh, do it uh, another interesting feature is the navigation tools we can navigate through the model uh, through the recursion levels just by clicking on them if we click and update we see the system in focus that we wish to select so uh, always the system in focus that we are um, that we can uh, work with is just selecting in the tree immediately so we can nav uh, navigate through all the structure no matter recursion levels no matter uh, uh, recursion criteria uh, another uh, feature uh, that uh, may be interesting to mention uh, at this point in, in time is um, the possibility of introducing information in any of the components uh, they are not drawings they are active elements if i click on any of them uh, uh, we can upload information uh, we can upload information with system two uh, system three four five uh, connections with the environment the uh, future environment present uh, current environment also if we click on any of the uh, elements uh, we can uh, in any of the communication channels we can introduce information in free form or uh, use the homeostat uh, with all the components of the homeostats uh, uh, traduce communication channels etc etc and we can add as many as we like and introduce as much information uh, and uh, upload um, annexes uh, to the each of the components and the annexes can be text video audio images uh, whatever we wish to uh, select once we have added something, we have uh, the color that changes just to indicate that we have introduced information here. Another interesting feature, uh, just to um, complete this uh, fast presentation, uh, is uh, that we can, uh, as I said, navigate uh, using different kind of maps. Uh, also, we can um, add parameters to visualize our organization, uh, any kind of parameter that may be sales, number of employees, etc., and choose the parameter to visualize uh, the components uh, of uh, the operational units uh, in a size that is proportional to the, uh, the selected parameter. Also, we can introduce information in all the relations between environments, between operations, etc., etc. Uh, so, uh, basically, this is the um, the information I would like to comment. Just the last thing I would like to mention is the uh, possibility. Of navigating as, as I, I was uh, indicating using the uh, fast navigating tools uh, like the the various maps and the global map all, always having in mind that just by clicking 
on any of the components uh, we are presented with the system in focus and we uh, can start introducing information in any format etc so that was the main purpose of this presentation uh, in future videos i will uh, continue um, providing some additional details of what bsmod uh, can uh, do um, at this point in time just to thank everybody for the attention that's all